It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, October 17th. I'm James Spann. The weather unseasonably warm, close to record highs tomorrow and Wednesday, but big changes later this week with a chance of rain and much cooler temperatures. A lot to talk about, so let's dive in here. Water vapor satellite view ridging down here across the deep south. You know, we actually had some rain in the state yesterday, but Birmingham only had a trace. So this is the 29th consecutive day today without measurable rain as the drought conditions worsen. 50s and 60s on the board to start the day. Fort Payne, the cool spot at 55. The warm spot, Birmingham in the city, the urban heat island effect at 69. It's 61 for Tuscaloosa and Anniston. And you can see that tongue of very warm air coming up through the nation's midsection. It's going to be a very warm October day for the eastern two-thirds of the United States. Many records will likely be set today. We got red flag warnings. The county's in uh, bright uh, pink there for parts of the western plains with the uh, hot, dry conditions. That's a wildfire danger. And understand, we still have one here as well, even though there's technically no warning in effect. Severe storms possible today from Minneapolis-St. Paul over to parts of Michigan. Tomorrow, we could see some thunder from southern Missouri up into western Pennsylvania. And on day three, which is Wednesday, uh, we've got green over the northwestern part of the state, suggesting there might be some thunder there. But uh, organized severe weather, not expected. But boy, this is kind of exciting. Five-day rain, yeah, we've got some colors here for a change. Uh, this is the rain through Saturday morning, and this is suggesting most of the state will see one-half to one inch. And the main window for that rain will be Thursday night and Friday with a cold front coming in, as you'll see. Off in the tropics, Nicole is still hanging in there. That thing should be post-tropical any day now in the North Atlantic. The NHC guys are watching that disturbance east of the Bahamas. Uh, they've got this in a medium chance of developing, but more than likely this will not affect the United States. The same uh, setup that's going to bring us cooler air late this week should uh, keep this from affecting us. So let's look at this stuff here. Model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06E run, valid today, 1 o'clock local time. 588 Ridge down here, cold trough back in the northwest. We're dry, mid-80s. Look at the anomalies today. Very warm for the eastern two-thirds of the country from the Rockies on east. And again, some records are likely over uh, Kansas and Missouri, Iowa, maybe parts of the Texas Panhandle. Tomorrow, we're dry. Upper 80s. The NAM and the GFS are at 88. That's right at record high temperature levels. Wednesday, same thing. We'll be in the upper 80s. We note uh, a little green showing up, and, and I guess it's conceivable there might be a shower over the northwestern part of the state Wednesday, maybe even some thunder, but most places will stay dry, and for now, we'll leave the forecast dry. But Thursday, you can see our front getting close. A decent part of the day should be dry, but as that edge is in here, the chance of rain will increase late Thursday afternoon and Thursday night and Friday, we are wet for a change. And this is no drought buster. We, we need a you know couple of days of steady soaking rain for that. But this should get uh, one half inch of rain down on the ground, maybe more in spots. And the weather turns sharply cooler. Uh, the GFS showing a high of only 65. That'll be a huge difference. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. The GFS tries to close off an upper low down to the southeast of Panama City. And if this is right, where we are, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, the day would be dry and cool with highs only in the 60s. Some lingering light rain possible over southeast Alabama. We'll say a mixture of clouds and sunshine, but obviously it's going to be a cool fall day for football. Look at the anomalies on Saturday. And you can see nice, we go from those uh, big shades of red down to the shades of blue and green. Those are temperature anomalies. Uh, down to 8 to 20 degrees below average on Saturday. Sunday should be a beautiful fall day. We start the day in the 40s. The high will be in the 70s. The sky should be sunny. And this is a week from today, Monday the 24th. Ridging developing to the west. We have a northwest flow aloft. Just a beautiful day. 40s in the morning, 70s during the day. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is Wednesday of next week, the 26th. 588 Ridge beginning to rebuild. We're dry. That might, might get us back up toward 80. 
toward the middle of next week. But look at the numbers. You can see mid to upper 80s through Thursday, then the big drop off Friday and Saturday. And I think both days will be in the 60s. Lows getting down in the 40s and temperatures next week, just where they ought to be for October in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.